channel. My name is Michelle. We talk about things like love, spirituality, love, attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. I'm an intuitive reader, a manifesting coach, a Reiki practitioner, and a life path guide and mentor here to help you along your awakening journey so you can co-create the life of your dreams. And in this video, we're going to talk about your higher self, your spiritual self, your soul, and how it helps your manifestations arrive. So what I like to believe, and you guys can take it or leave it, this is what I have learned from my mentor and from what I've observed and absorbed from all of the teachings about spirituality for the last seven years, is that we are consciousness, right? We are literally spirits in these bodies. And our consciousness is like this flowy energy that can be everywhere at once. So think about that. So think about like this stream of water and it's running through your body right now, but it could also be running through other lifetimes. It could be in other cities, other states. We are able to be everywhere all at once. So your consciousness, your higher self, your soul can go ahead and can move things and align things for you, but it needs a starting point. It needs to know what to go move. And that's what manifesting is. Manifesting is you allowing that consciousness to get out there and do the work for you and not gripping and being in fear and doubt. Because when you're in fear and doubt, you're not as flowy. Okay, you're not allowing yourself to go ahead and to align things. You're actually staying put and staying stagnant. At least that's how I visualize it in my head. And you guys can, again, take it or leave it. But if you can think about yourself as this flowy energy that can be everywhere all at once, and the more you stay in a neutral, peaceful, calm, uplifted, just having so much trust and faith in the journey, the more you're in that energy, Think about this, the quicker that flow can get out there and grab what you need and bring it to you. Okay. And also when you're in that energy, you're able to be moved. You're not tight. You're not stagnant. The mind's not saying, don't go here, stay here. Don't talk to this person, or I don't know if this is going to happen. And you just end up staying stuck where you are physically. Like you're not maybe leaving your house or you're only going to certain environments. When you're in this peaceful energy, you're not fearful about anything. You're just going with the flow. So your consciousness can then go ahead and take care of things for you and lead you to a certain store to meet somebody. It can lead you to that money. It can lead you to hop on your computer to invest in a stock. And then boom, a month later, that stock has just made you so much money. So when we are working with our higher self, we have to know that it wants to help us. It is helping us. It's also bringing us signs to let us know that it's on the way and we just have to relax and stay in the vibration of faith. Stay in the vibration of, I know everything is always coming to me. My consciousness has got my back. When you can stay in those neutral vibrations, you're actually staying on the dance floor. I always talk about getting on the dance floor to dance with the universe and that's literally dancing with your higher self, right? They're picking the music. You're up there choosing to be there. You're not hopping off out of fear and doubt, fearing judgment or whatever it may be. You're like, no, I am committing to this journey. I'm getting on the dance floor and I'm going to keep my energy pristine. That does not mean that negative emotions are not going to pop up on that stage, but what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do when a slow song comes on? What are you going to do when a sad song comes on? You're, you're going to keep dancing. You're just going to change the flow of the energy, right? You might move slower. You might take a nap. You might cry. That's all still being on the dance floor. But if you're on that dance floor going, why is this here? I don't like this song. I don't like this song. Change it, change it, change it. <laughs> you're Somebody's going to kick you off the dance floor because you're just standing there. Does that make sense? Isn't that a cool analogy? So always think about that. You're on the dance floor. Your manifestations are always going to arrive when you're on the dance floor, going with the flow of the energy, going with the music. If the music changes, we change with it. Okay. We go with it. You know, sometimes there's mornings where I wake up and I'm so sad and I'm so depressed and I'm like, what is this energy? This is not my vibe, <laughs> but I'm like, okay, this is here. What, what do I want to do with it? Let me, let me shift. Let me go out in sunshine and see if it changes. Let me go for a drive. Let me meditate. Let me journal about this. And something always comes up through me. Either it passes through me or it's something that I need to heal and I address it. And that's me working with that different music. 
Okay, so our consciousness is always changing the music for us. <laughs> it's always leading us to the next dance, to the next manifestation. It's bringing us our angel numbers, our signs, and it's working with the universe because we're all connected. Your consciousness is that flow of energy that comes from source. Source is a bigger version of that consciousness. Do you feel me? You get it? It's like this big ball of light in the sky, and then we have all of these flowy streams of light and then we're at the end of it in these physical bodies experiencing it and that light wants to move us so we have to surrender and say okay you can move me i'll go here i'll go there i'll surrender to this slower song <laughs> i'll be on the couch crying for two days and know that it's meant to be because that's usually a sign that you're being prepared you're being transformed into the person that is ready to receive the manifestation so your higher self has your back you can trust every emotion, you can trust every feeling. And if you really, really, really want to master manifestation, it is becoming the observer of all of it. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. If you want to master manifestation, it is becoming the observer of everything, of your feelings, of your thoughts, of your emotions, and there's no judgment. You are just a complete witnesser. Okay, which means that you're just behind your human going, it's okay, everything's perfect. You're exactly where you're meant to be. The money's coming, the job's coming, the person is coming. Don't give in to these emotions and feelings right now and these creative stories that your mind is telling you because your mind can only think of things from the past. So if you're new to manifesting, it might be hard to use your imagination because you're so used to using your mind. And the mind is like a record player, it's just going to keep playing the same story over and over. And we have to learn to pause it and to listen to our higher self, to be behind the physical vessel and say, okay, I'm witnessing him or her. <laughs> They're having a little bit of a panic moment. Let me just observe it and say, okay, everything's okay. Something's on the way. I'll be moved when the time is right. Let me stay in the energy of being willing to be moved because those feelings, thoughts, and emotions, they will block your movement. They will make you stay somewhere when, when spirit and your higher self is trying to get you out of the house to get you to go somewhere your emotions might tell you not to go and you have to become the observer and not listen to those emotions. So that's why it builds great discipline to have a workout routine and to get outside in nature. So every time you're listening to that record player in your mind, you have to find a way to pivot and movement for me, getting into the body or being out in nature that takes me out of my mind and puts me in my body. And my body feels so good when I'm moving in the sunshine or even in the gym. Sometimes it's just getting in my car and going for a drive. I feel movement, okay? That drops us out of that record player. And now we, our energy is open and our higher self can then move us because we're not stuck listening to the same song over and over and over again, okay? That analogy about being on the dance floor and the music, I've never used that before in a video that came through naturally, so that was perfect. I feel like that's a really good channeled message from my guides. Thank you guides. <laughs> they always speak through me, but really think about that. If the song changes and you're on the dance floor and you're pissed about it and you're still wanting to listen to the old song, that is you not receiving a manifestation because you're gripping and holding on to an outcome of how your life is supposed to be. And that's not how we navigate this. We have to be free flowing. We have to know that our higher self and our consciousness has a better plan than our mind could ever think of. The mind wants to stay in the other song, but your consciousness is like, oh, you have no idea what song is coming on next. But first, we might have to listen to a slow, sad song. But after that one, you are going to love this next song. So ride the wave, just dance through it, maybe take a nap through the next song, you know, just don't resist it. So I hope this video helped you working with your higher self and your consciousness and becoming the observer is going to make you the most magical manifester on the planet. And also you're just gonna be so peaceful in life because everything that comes your way, you're gonna observe it. And you're gonna say, what do I wanna choose right now? Do I wanna engage? Do I wanna allow? Do I want to change? Do I wanna pivot? And you can choose in every moment to turn off that record player in your mind and go do something else. It is not bypassing. You're still observing what's coming up, but you get to choose what you wanna do with it. Okay. If you need help on your journey, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do one-on-one -on -one intuitive readings. I have an eight week mentorship program where I work with women for eight weeks, one hour on zoom every week, and they transform 
their lives and their being. They start becoming the woman that is ready to receive everything and they start taking action. They start the podcast, they start the business, they quit the job, they get the money, they do everything in these eight weeks. So if you want to do that with me, everything is below and I'm sending you so much love. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting me and my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so we can get these messages out there to more people. And I hope you have a great day. All right, lovies, peace out.